Um, honestly, we both uh, went out on the huddle and um, with the first play, and both of us in the huddle with the helmets on. Uh, we didn't know, you know, and then I was kind of like taking a couple steps to the sideline after he called the play, and um, he was like, no, you in. So when y'all found out, I found out. Really? Yeah, yeah, seriously, seriously, like right there. I'm like, oh, okay, um, okay. Nothing, nothing. All I know is Coach Beck kept coming to me, hey, did Coach talk to you? I'm like, about what? He's like, what do you think? I'm like, nah, he didn't, they say nothing to me yet. What did it mean to you to get, to get the start, to win that personal battle? You, know, you guys had gone at it last time. Um, I, I don't think the battle is over. You know, uh, what, you having two great guys with experience and um, can lead the team in uh, their own way. Um, we, we put ourselves in a unique situation as a team with uh, me and JT just because of our talent and um, just because of how the team, you know, rolls when each of us in the game. All right. Cornell, when at the beginning of the game, since you didn't know until he said you were in, when they were going through the roll, when you guys were going through the warm ups and you were taking reps from Jacoby Moore and then you were the second on, were you reading into what was going on at that point? Like, no, that, that's, that's, that was camp. That's how we did the whole camp. You know, it was times I got to go with the ones, times he was one with the twos and vice versa. And it was times, you know, I was with the ones and, uh, the coach a call out situation. Yeah, Cardell, he just lost his helmet or, or uh, equipment issue. JT ran in. So they did an unbelievable job keeping us both ready. As you see, both of us were ready when he um, finally got a chance to um, play in the fourth quarter. I mean, he took the team right down the field and uh, the scoring drive. Bill. Coach Myers said that he was going to tell you guys Saturday. Did he tell you? Man, nah, he ain't tell us, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah, he ain't tell us. And how would you assess your play today? Uh, I mean, not too much in my play, but the uh, offense. We, we we had a rhythm, but we hit a couple of speed bumps. And, um, uh, we we had two turnovers, which led to touchdowns. So, to, in my opinion, a score in the game because they got out of hand uh, quicker than it did. But um, just clean up on them uh, turnovers and um, mental mistakes, and then I'm pretty sure you'll see more from us next week. Last two questions. First, Pat, and then Marla. I saw you uh, impersonating. Braxton Spindley on the sideline. What was it like watching him make that play and having him back as a big one? It was sick. I, I think mine was kind of better on the sideline, but um, it, it was crazy because I was on a, I was looking across the field because it was a, like kind of not a trick formation, but I was at the wide out position. And after he broke, I'm like, well, I'm not about to like run down there with him. Then I see him spin. I'm like, holy, like, okay, he's back. And so they still think mine was better though. And Marla. Did JT say anything during, during the night about? Nah, not really, because like I said before, I don't think the battle is over. You know, we, I still, well, we still got to stay razor sharp in, um, in our play and um, stay locked into the game plans each week. And um, just continue to stay ready. You know, our numbers can be called any moment. You know, I, I'm not even sure who will start Saturday, so. Cardinal, one last thing. When you were running out of the field, you started motioning to the crowd and making noise if you Yeah, yeah. Like, just based on that excitement, you start? No, no, not really. It's just um, they, they think this was a – I mean, it was a it was an unbelievable environment. It was a hostile environment and um, definitely one of the top environments I ever played in. I mean, I only played four games, but uh, – <laughs> but, but still, though, I just want to let them know, like, I think I did that in the Alabama game, too, as well, because that's basically a home game for them in the Sugar Bowl. But let them know the crowd, you know, they had so much hype about the crowd and the noise. I basically let them know it wasn't going to be a factor. So get as loud as you want.